Good morning students. It's time for the subject mathematics. Our topic today is approximations and errors. Our subtopic is approximation and estimations. And this is our lesson one. Our lesson objectives are one, by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to approximate and estimate quantities in computations and measurements to round off truncate and estimate given numbers to the appropriate degree of accuracy now in approximations we approximate real life situations like uh, measurements like distance like uh, the distance to a school we can also approximate the number of children for instance in a children home we are going to discuss matters to do with approximations in this lesson also we shall deal with significant figures we shall deal with rounding off we shall deal with truncation we shall deal with estimation and the decimal places we shall use examples for instance, rounding off happens in the following cases. One, round off 4,502.2937 the nearest thousands. Now we have 4,592, and in this case, 592 is more than 500. So the number graduates to 5,000. To the nearest thousands three occupies that place value so, and the median digit that follows is seven more than five so it becomes four thousand five hundred and two point two nine four five significant figures so in this case two occupies that place value so in this case the number that follows is more than five so you can four thousand five hundred and two point three three decimal places three occupies that position the number that follows is digit number seven more than five it becomes four thousand five hundred and two point two nine four to the nearest whole number we have four thousand five hundred and 92 and because point 0.2 is less than point 0.5 so the number remains 4,592 then we come to truncation truncation we cut off the number to three decimal places three occupy that place value we cut off the other so it's 5,592.293 to four significant figures Two occupies that position, so we cut off the num other digit that follows, so it becomes 592.2. To three significant figures, so in this case, two takes that position, we cut off the others, it becomes 592. To two significant figures, that one is a little bit tricky so in this case we cut we count five nine we cut off the others but since it's five ninety two zero will occupy the position of two so it becomes five ninety we also have estimate the answer to in estimation we estimate then compute then we shall have estimated the answer so in this case three sixty nine becomes 370 and 5150 so you add it becomes 420 and then we also have 459 in this case becomes 460 and then uh, 137 becomes 140 you subtract to get 320 that's your approximate of 320 then you have 8.1 so in this case we have 8.1 becomes 8, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.
which when you multiply you get approximately 16 then the one that follows we again we uh, we approximate that is we estimate 3.84 becomes 64 then 7.85 becomes 8 so we divide then we estimate the answer is 8 then you have 29.78 becomes 30 divided by 8.14 estimated to be 8 when so you get that is when you divide you get 15 divided by 4 you get 3.75 which is meant to fall now in this case 79 becomes 8 3.94 5.25 so you get 8 over 20 that is is meted to fall and you have 0 0.81 becomes 0 0.8 0 0.62 becomes 0 0.6 0 0.21 becomes 0 0.2 you might like get 4.8 over 2 which is estimated to be 2.4 example 4 complete the following numbers giving the answers to the appropriate degree of accuracy so when it comes to addition subtraction you look at the one that is least accurate in this case 9.2 to one decimal place so the answer will be to one decimal place so when you add the numbers you get 19 point two zero three to one decimal place becomes that is estimated to be nineteen point two now like subtraction the same the we shall have to one decimal place again that's seventeen point eight the answer will be to one decimal place so we have when you add you can sixteen point nine four three eight which is estimated to one decimal place sixteen point nine multiplication and division you look the one that has the less number of significant figures so in this case we have 12.81 for signal figures the answer will be to four signal figures so we have when you multiply get 106.344777 which is accurate for signal figures to be estimated to be 106.3 then we have division in this case it will be 0 0.37087 so the one that has two signal figures is 23 so the answer will be estimated to two signal figures which is 0 0.37 now that's the end of our lesson today and you will have homework from book 3 KLB exercise 2.2 numbers 4, 6 and 7 bye bye